everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm about to take you through a really great workout. Today I am joined by our special guest, Rose, from My Change for a 10. So Rose is a Bender Fitness Ambassador. She has been going through my 12 week bikini prep workout program in her goal to get in shape. And she sponsors a different charity for every 10 pounds she loses. So she has lost 50 pounds so far, right? Yay, happy dance! <laughs> um, but so this is going to be her first time working out on camera with me. I do want to say before we start, it's really hard to work out on camera, so guys be supportive. Uh, it's really brave to get up here and to be worried about your form and worried. So if I'm correcting her at all during the video or making changes, it's just because having proper form is really important. So I have my interval timer set for 15 rounds, 10 seconds of rest, 50 seconds maximum repetitions. So you're gonna go as many reps as you can with good form during each interval. And the nice thing about intervals is even if you're at a different fitness level, you can work to your maximum potential. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's ready. Hi. We have 10 seconds to prep. We're gonna go into a wide leg plank first, hands directly below your shoulders, and we're gonna be doing a knee, knee to elbow. So we're gonna cross right knee to left elbow. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, we have 10 seconds. So let's get in our position. Put that kind of in front of us. Wide legs, hands right below your shoulders, core tight the entire time. Keep the hips low and you're gonna cross. Cross. Make sure you're breathing, but keep your core pulled in nice and tight. Good job, nice keeping your hips low. So you wanna try not to let your hips rise up. As you get tired, that's harder and harder. And still go for max reps, but I want you to try and really touch your knee to your elbow if you can. Breathe. Good. 20 seconds left for this one. Breathing is the hardest thing. <laughs> it is hard. Gotta do it though. And don't worry about keeping pace with anyone. Go at your own pace. But push yourself. Five seconds. You got this. I got it. If you have to hold plank, that's okay too. Ten seconds. Next we have V up. V up. So we're gonna sit on our bottoms for this one. Feet down there. Good job. And you're gonna extend and reach toward your toes. And if you need a modification for this one, you can do it on your forearms and push up with your hands. So core engaged the whole time. Keep breathing and again, move at your own pace. Good job. And I like what Rose just did. She switched from the hardest modification to the modified version because form is number, number one, but push yourself to do as many as you can the hardest way and then modify. Keep breathing. Good job. One second. Okay, next. Bridge hopper right. Bridge hopper. So we're gonna stay down. We're gonna glute bridge. So both hips are gonna lift as high as you can. Right leg extends. Lift, drop the hips, press to the ceiling, keep it straight and lower. Good. And if you can, you don't wanna rest in between. High as you can. Good job, Bruce. Keep that core tight, but make sure you're breathing. Nice job. And if it gets too intense, hold your double leg glute bridge. Good job. I'm sweating. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's what we want. Sweating, breathing heavy, that is what you're aiming for I'm during doing all those things. <laughs> good job. Keep those hips pressing as high as you can. Good. Rest, 10 seconds, and we're gonna do it with the left leg this time. You ready, Rose? I'm ready. Okay. Core tight, hips lift, left leg extends, lift, drop, press. And again, push through the heel and press that foot toward the ceiling every time. That's how you get your hips back in the right spot. And sometimes I actually lift my toes on the standing foot 
to make sure I'm engaging the back of my leg. Keep breathing, good job. Nice job, Rose. Thank you. Lift those hips. Keep moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my catchphrase. Keep it moving. Good job. Almost done. There we go. Next we have. Warrior two to half moon. Okay, so we're gonna start with our right leg back, left leg forward, back foot is out. Good. Bend into the front knee. We're gonna lean and lift. You can either do it touching the floor and lift, knee faces out to the side. I'm gonna turn just to show you guys. And lift, good. Better back up. <laughs> so this one gets tricky trying to film in small spaces <laughs> and trying not to topple over like me. I'm modifying. Good. And so Rose is putting her hand on her thigh, which is a great modification. Weight shifting from standing all the way into the front foot and back. Five seconds left. And then we're gonna switch sides. Good job. So turn the other way. This way. Yep. Other leg in front. Core tight. Good. And we're gonna go from warrior two. Shift the weight forward. The first one's always the hardest. And everybody's, well, you can be right-handed, left-handed, your right leg and left leg also. Whew. So your balance is gonna be better on one side than the other. <laughs> and that's actually, and there you go. <laughs> that's another great modification is to use a wall or a chair to help you find the balance. I'm just practicing my balance, basically. Good job, and lift. Good job. Keep breathing. I'm gonna aim a little bit more. Ooh, that's why you tell me to eat. <laughs> okay, let, we have 10 seconds to the next one. Windshield wiper reverse plank. Okay, so we're gonna reverse plank this time. Feet down this way. Just like in the bridge, your hips are going to be a straight line. We're going to take a big step out and in. And the trick here is not letting your butt fall down in between. You want to keep it lifted. This one's hard. It is hard. I'm gonna and you can reverse plank. That's right. Just make sure you keep those hips lifted the whole time. Remember, there is always a way to modify your workout. Keep breathing. Get those hips up a little bit. There we go. Core tight. There it is. Keep going. There we go. Next we have Spider-Man plank. Okay, so we're turning over. We're going to bring same side elbow to knee. So kind of similar to the first one, but no cross this time. Knee, touch the elbow, bring it back. Keep the hips low, drop your hips ribs, drop them. There we go. So plank form the whole time. And you could do it like roses on your forearms or on an extended arm. Drop the hips. And if it gets too much, hold your plank a little lower through the hips. There you go. Breathe. So holding your breath becomes tempting when things get hard, but you need to breathe through the movement. Less than 10 seconds left. Good job. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. Next we have rainbow lunge. Okay, so for this one, we're going to lunge. Um, so we're going to be forward and we're going to do a big step from the left corner of the room up and over to the right corner of the room. I'm going to angle so you guys can see. And angle. So again, you're really using that standing leg, keeping the core tight as you lift the back leg. 
and you can move at your own pace, whether that be faster or slower, you're challenging those muscles, that's the goal. And you can also do this holding onto a chair if you're not ready to bend quite that low. Less than 10 seconds. Good job, Rose. Good, I saw you self-correct your foot, so that was good too. Okay, so same thing on the other side. I'm dripping sweat. <laughs> so left leg's gonna be forward this time, right leg is moving. Angle this way so I'm not in your way. That's fine. Okay, make sure your form is good. One corner of the room to the other. Core tight. So we're making a rainbow with our foot. Nice arc up and over. Keep that core engaged. Always using it to protect your back. Feeling okay, Rose? I'm good. Good. <laughs> 10 seconds. You got it. Good job. Last two seconds. Okay. Deep squat kick. Okay. So we're going to kick all right leg. Bend in between. Yep. Shake it out. Squat pressing the hips back. Chest stays lifted. Kick. Flex the foot. Push through the heel. Squat. Kick. And you can reach up in between if you have trouble keeping your chest lifted. And always pretend you can sit in a chair behind you. Butt reaching toward the wall. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> as low as you can get them, Rose. There we go. So you want to try and get at least a parallel. Oops. And weight should shift into your heels as you do it. You should be able to actually lift the toes. Sorry, I started kicking at an angle. <laughs> Straight ahead. That's probably because I'm doing it like that. <laughs> there we go. Rose is a, has a background in dance, so she tends to go out. This time, both toes straight ahead. Left foot is gonna kick. Butt reaches back. Breathe. There you go. Turn those toes toward the front and push the hips back. Breathe. Good job. Nice push, Rose. Lift those toes if you can. As you squat, check that your weight's shifting into your heels. Less than 10 seconds left. Hopefully I'm not the only one sweating. Oh no. <laughs> Good job. Cheek to cheek. Okay, forearm plank, elbows directly below your shoulders. And we are going to, for this one, come through center. You can hold plank if it gets too much. Right side of your butt tap center. Left side of your butt tap center. Drop those hips just a little bit, Rose. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. Okay, and this one's a little hard for my chest, so I'm just gonna plank. So just hold your plank. Rose has a toe injury that makes certain moves a little bit trickier. So like I said, modify, listen to your body. Breathe. Through center, hold that core in. job. Next we have hip thrust. Okay, so we're going to turn over on our butts again, just like we did in the glute bridge and the reverse plank. Hips are going to get as high as they can. Right leg extends first. We're going to press our hips to the ceiling on your hands. There you go. And actually, Rose, what she was doing is a great modification. So if this gets too much, you can do it laying down and just worry about pressing that foot to the ceiling. Get those hips a little higher. 
they try to make a straight line. They were. <laughs> You're doing good. So the goal is straight line from knee to hip to shoulder. Good job. It's hard. Lift the, lift the toes of your standing foot, if you can, to shift the weight into your heel. That's okay. Hold your, hold your tabletop position. There you go. Nice high hips. Ah, rest. My hamstring is burning. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. Bring your feet just a little bit further forward this time. Out this way. There you go. Lift to your tabletop. And this time our left leg's extending. Good. Drop the hips. Press the hips and the foot toward the ceiling. There we go. So the movement isn't so much about your foot. It's about the location of the hips. And using that weight in the heel of the standing leg. Good modification, Rose. Keep breathing. So this is one of those burnout poses that looks a lot easier than it feels. Less than 10 seconds. We're done! Yay! Yay! Okay. So good job, Rose! Okay. So guys, like I said, I'm super proud of her. Thank you. It's hard working out on camera. We oh, have a kitty cat Spanky. <laughs> so Gambit usually visits. Today we have Spanky the Siamese. <laughs> um, he's well, been shy out. and now he's out of power. Exactly. No Bender Fitness video is complete without a cat. <laughs> so I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you, Rose. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, don't forget, all of the breakdown will be on my blog, BenderFitness.com. Click like. If you like the workout, you click subscribe if you like getting free workouts. Bye! Bye. <laughs>